Hi, I'm Ryan Beto, NDSU Extension Cropping System Specialist at the Dickinson Research Extension Center. Every other year, we conduct the National Sunflower Production Survey, sponsored by the National Sunflower Association. With this survey, we look for different uh, factors that impact yield, those different yield components, and then those factors that are limiting yield. And through this survey, we're able to find trends over time of where we're seeing certain issues, certain diseases, insect issues, weeds, as well as other management factors that go into sunflower yield. We conduct the survey in states where there are a large amount of sunflower acres. Consistently, North Dakota is number one, and South Dakota is always close behind. So North Dakota and South Dakota are two of the states that we conduct this survey, along with Minnesota, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, Texas, and we also have survey samples from Manitoba as well. This survey wouldn't be possible without the wide network of volunteers that we have, and I really like to thank them for their help with this large survey. When we're looking out in the field, we're looking at you know, that head of the sunflower plant, we're looking at the size, the size of the seed, we're looking for all the different diseases on those plants, and then we look at these different factors. By having all these different samples across the country, the National Sunflower Association is able to direct dollars to where it's needed for research on different diseases, insects. We're also able to track things like uh, drought and, and the impact that it has on yield through all these different survey samples. So this, this is a really valuable survey and I want to thank you all for, for those of you that helped with this survey and be sure to keep an eye out this winter for data on the sunflower survey.